So we're, we're back to the doctor-patient relationship mm -hmm. and the understanding and knowledge and art of medicine is now starting to get infected by systemic issues, mm -hmm. one of which is the insurance company, one of which is the pharmacy. For instance, if I don't have insurance and you write mm -hmm. me the same prescription mm -hmm. and I go to the pharmacy and say, here's the prescription, and they say, let me see your insurance card. I said, I don't have insurance. And they say, okay, that costs this amount. Mm -hmm for so many pills. Mm -hmm. the, the, I can buy as many as you've written at one mm -hmm. setting if I want to mm -hmm. pay for it. Right. But if I'm using my insurance, the insurance company will only let them give me so many in a, in a window of 30 days. Mm -hmm. So the pharmacy gets a uh, stocking fee every yes. time it fills the right. prescription. So they're okay with that because that means I got to come back every month and mm -hmm. get it, and but they get a fee every month. And it's not productive in your life to do that. And I can't get three, four, five months worth mm -hmm. of this medicine. Why I don't? Even know. though you've taken, well, yeah, you do, well, because because that decreases their profits. Okay. Okay, that decreases your now, insurance so is that company's the profits. Pharmacy or the insurance company. It's both of them. It's both of them. They have a deal, and they have a deal between them, mm -hmm. not that you don't know anything about, that each drug is paid for at a certain rate. And then they're, the pharmacy is going to try to have you take the one they make the most money on. Right. So okay. they make more money on generics than they do on brand. Okay, the pharmacy does. And, and they've structured it that way yeah. because the insurance company has cut the deal with them so that they'll push generics because overall generics are cheaper. Why? Because nobody's paying for the patent. Right.